everyone! So, if you have been on my channel any length of time at all, you probably know I'm a big fan of fairy tale retellings. I own a lot, and I've read a lot of them. But today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite ones, my top favorites. So not necessarily all of the ones I've read, but my favorite ones. In no particular order, first I want to recommend Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. It's one of my favorite fairy tale retellings of all time for sure. This is a retelling of Cinderella where our main character Ella is cursed into doing anything anyone tells her to, so she has to follow any command. It is such a comfort book to me. You know, a lot of fairy tales can be really creepy and dark, and I like those, but I also like the sweet, warm ones, and that's what this is. This is just like the sweetest book, and I could reread it over and over again. I love it. Next, I want to talk about an author named Carolyn Turgeon. I own two of her books, Mermaid and Godmother. So this is a Cinderella retelling, um, but from the Godmother's perspective, it is such an interesting twist. When I first heard about this, I was like, the Godmother? Who would want to hear a story from the Godmother? She's kind of a boring character. That's at least what I was thinking. But no, it's really really interesting. The godmother is actually an old woman living in New York City in this story and it flashes back to when she was Cinderella's godmother. The thing I liked about this book the most were the characters. The characters really really stuck with me long after I read this story. I will say that this is dark. Like really dark. Like adult for sure. And, you know, some of it even was a little too much for me, but I still looked past that because I just love the story so much. But I want to give that warning out just in case, you know, I want to say that on my videos when I recommend things to people. The next book I have by Carolyn Turgeon I just mentioned earlier is Mermaid. It is a retelling of, what do you think it's a retelling of, guys? Say it with me. The Little Mermaid. This book is not nearly as dark as Godmother. In fact, I don't remember anything dark about it, so if that's more your style, this is for you. This book has a surprisingly very good love triangle. You know, love triangles, we're not always big fans of them, us booktubers. But this one's great. It follows a princess, like, on Earth, and a mermaid under the water, obviously. Casey, what? I just had to specify that the princess was on Earth. It, she's not a mermaid. So we have a real-life princess and a mermaid, and um, it switches perspectives between the two, and they are both in love with the prince, and it's really, it's really good. I like it a lot. Now, this next book might be, like, my least favorite of my favorites, but it's still very good. It is Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow by Jessica Day George. It is a retelling of the story East of the Sun, West of the Moon. This is a very good, like, winter book to read by the fireplace. It takes place with a bunch of snow and it's a very like kind of co a cozy book honestly. This fairy tale is similar to Beauty and the Beast but the Beast is a bear and this girl uh, has to live with the bear. It's interesting. I liked it though. I like Jessica Day George. She's also written multiple fairy tale books so I'm gonna definitely check out her other books as well. Next is Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. I have mentioned this recently because I read this this year. Uh, this is a retelling of the story The Goose Girl. This is just a classic fairy tale retelling with a very medieval feel. Like it doesn't change that much. It's not modern. It's not futuristic. It's nothing like, you know, Cinder, which I love Cinder, but this is a very, like, if you want that classic fairy tale feel, this is the book for you. It's just a really great epic adventure story with romance, kind of what you would expect from a fairy tale. So if you're looking for, like, the classic vibe, I definitely recommend this one. Then we have Beastly by Alex Flynn. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I haven't read this in years, in years, so I almost feel weird recommending it. I probably need to give it a reread, but I really liked it back then, and I know a lot of you like it as well, so I think it's definitely a good book to check out. Alex Flynn has also written a lot of other fairy tale retellings. She wrote a book called A Kiss in Time, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling, which I've also read, which wasn't my favorite. I've heard a lot of people that do like it. It's not my fave. I like Beastly the best. This is a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It takes place in New York City, and it's just a really great take on it. Okay, so the next author I have to talk about um, has written three fairy tale retellings that I have read, and she is one of my favorite authors of all time. Top three, top five, one of my very, very favorite authors, and that is Juliet Marie or Merlier. A lot of people pronounce it different ways. The first book I will recommend is called Wildwood Dancing, and it is a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and it has some other fairy tales thrown in there as well, but it's mainly the Twelve Dancing Princesses. I know I've mentioned this book a million times, but I really like it. I just love Juliet. I love the characters. I love the world building. The underground world where they dance is incredible. I love the twists and turns. I was, like, gasping while reading this book because it just, like, threw me for a loop, and it was just such a great take on the story because I love the 12 Dancing Princesses. It's one of my favorite stories and I loved what she did with it. This is a YA novel by Juliet Marillier. The other two books I'm going to mention by her are adult novels with way more dark adult themes in them, which I'm going to warn again for everyone, but this one is doesn't have any anything in it, so you know. 
if you'd rather read something like that, I definitely recommend this. I love it so much. The next one I'm going to recommend is Daughter of the Forest. I don't actually even know what tale this is based on. I know it is a retelling, but I don't even know if it's really a fairy tale retelling. I think it's a retelling of like an old legend or something, and I tried to look it up and couldn't find anything. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, it's about swans. This follows a young girl named Sorka. She has a lot of brothers. She is the only girl in the family. A lot of brothers who love her and protect her, and an awful spell is placed on her brothers and she has to break it. This is a lot of people's favorite Juliet Merlier book and it is incredible and well written. It's not my favorite though, it's probably my least favorite uh, Juliet book out of the three I'm mentioning, but I still really really loved it and enjoyed it and I think it's most people's favorite so maybe I'm just like the crazy one. The last book I'm going to recommend by Juliet Merlier, I am loaning it out right now, I don't have it with me, but it's one of my faves and it's called Heart's Blood. Here is the cover. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and it's so good. I love it. It's kind of one of those books that takes a while to get into. There is a lot of world building at the beginning, and it is a little much. I remember it took me a while to get through it at the beginning, but once you do get past the first, I don't know, 100 pages, it's kind of a long book. It's just incredible, and it's totally worth it. This takes place in Ireland, and it follows a girl named Katrin. She is a scribe, and she is, like, on the run. She's been abused, and she's, like, trying to find refuge and she goes to this house in this place called Whistling Tor um, to be the scribe for the man who lives in that house who is the beast character. He's not an actual beast, he's like a deformed man. It's really good, it's a great romance and it definitely gives a lot of nods toward the original Beauty and the Beast tale but it really changes it too in a really cool way. Next is Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu. I know a lot of you have heard me talk about this lately as well because I've read it recently but this is a middle grade book. It's a very very loosely based retelling of the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen is a character in this book, but it's not the story of the Snow Queen, so I wouldn't even really call it that, but it is a fairy tale retelling. It's about a girl named Hazel. She's 12 years old. She has a huge imagination. She's adventurous. Her best friend Jack goes missing, and she goes out to find him in the woods. Um, I know that I describe it the same way every time. You guys have heard me talk about this multiple times recently, so I'm sorry about that, but I really liked this book. I thought it was just fun. It's just a really, really fun middle grade retelling, and if you're looking for something just quick, fun, magical, get this. And the last one I don't even need to recommend, but I'm gonna do it anyway, and guess what it is? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. In fact, the entire Lunar Chronicle series. If you haven't read the series, go read it. There's no excuse anymore. A lot of people have read it. Um, most people like it that I know. A lot. Of, I'm sure a lot of people don't like it, but I. most of my friends love it, and I adore it. So it's a series. The first book is Cinderella, second book Little Red Riding Hood, third book um, Rapunzel, fourth book Snow White, and it has a prequel as well called Fairest. It is a sci-fi retelling. I'm not even a big sci-fi person and I love it. So it's about a girl named Cinder who's a cyborg living in New Beijing. That's pretty much all you need to know. And I know that that sounds crazy, but somehow it works. Somehow it's amazing, and I really want this to be a movie, and usually I don't want books to be movies, but this, I, as I was reading this, I could just see it as a movie, and I, I, I love it, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed those recommendations. I might make a part two recommending anthologies, or I just might make a part two one day once I've read more fairy tale retellings, because I have a lot of fairy tale retellings I own that I have not read yet, and I might end up, like, loving them, so I need to, um definitely read those and then make a part two recommending those if I like them. Alright guys, see you later, bye!